Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. I am Make It Up Supergirl. Today I'm super excited to be sharing a makeup look from the Glam Light Cosmetic and Michaela Part 2 Makeup Collection. So if this interests you, please keep watching and don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to tickle that cute little bell down below to be notified of all my new content. Alright, let's get started. Now that I have the camera up and close, I'm going to go ahead and start my makeup look and I'm going to focus mostly on the green shadows because lately I've been really enjoying playing with the color green. So the first color I'm going to use is the lightest green in this um, palette and it's kind of like a mint green and it's really, really pretty. So I'm going to go ahead and put that all over my eyelid. And I absolutely love Glam Lights formula. It just performs beautifully every time and it's very inexpensive. This is a really pretty color. Looks like you can actually build this color up too, so that's really nice. I'm just gonna pat that on. I'm gonna bring it up my eyelid. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye and I'm just going to pat that on. This is a beautiful green. that the light green um, is on my eyelid right now so I'm going to go ahead on to the second color and that one is a medium green shade and I'm going to go ahead and put it right here in this crease right here so I'm going to dip my brush and I'm going to lightly pat that in there because I want to see how well it performs and it's performing amazing and I'm just going to keep building it up in there now the reason why I put my darker shade in my upper crease is because I have hooded eyes and when you have hooded eyes, if you put anything in this just normal crease right here, you're not going to be able to see it. So I bring everything up so that you can see it. So this is looking really, really nice. So I'm just going to put that in there and it's looking really good. What's your favorite color that you like to play with? I'm starting to really love playing with green. It's just so much fun. That looks really good. I really like the way that turned out, so I'm going to go ahead and do the other side. I really like using a little fluffy brush because it's not as it helps buff out the color a lot easier. But this is just working extremely flawless. Like, I've never had a problem using any of the Glam Lights um, eyeshadow. It's just an amazing company. And they've come out with some really awesome um, makeup collections too. I like this one because it's got a lot of greens in it. Wow. That was just barely any eyeshadow and it turned out amazing. I actually think I'm done with that second color. I might put a little bit more right there. Just kind of put it in there so you can see it. But that looks really good. Well, I think that turned out really, really nice, and I'm going to go ahead and use a darker screen shade, and I'm going to darken the corners of my eyelid to give more dimension 
uh, for my eye look. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use the same brush and then I'm gonna go in here and tap it where I want it in the corner. And then I'm gonna blend it inward. And I only go to about halfway point. So I'm just gonna tap it in. And then I'm gonna blend the eyeshadow in. I just love playing with eyeshadow. I'm gonna probably start doing more makeup looks. So, as you can see, it's already starting to darken my corner of my eyeshadow look, and it looks really pretty. So, I'm just gonna try to get it in that corner and really pop that color in there. And then I just kind of blend inward a little bit and it doesn't have to be super neat you just want to darken your corner that's why I use these eye shields these eye shields are really amazing that I got off Amazon because it'll just help keep your makeup look looking neat so all right let's do this other side I really don't have any complaints with this palette so far it's working really amazing and I got this a while back and it's been a minute since I played with it. So as you can see I just kind of pat it in there and then I take the brush and I just kind of like blend inward like this. And that way it shows a lot more dimension and then of my makeup look. This is such a beautiful formula. I love it so very much. It just works fantastic. And I have some palettes that are like three times more expensive and they don't perform as nicely as this. So I definitely recommend their formula. Well, I really like the way this lash shadow darkened my outer corners. I think it did a really good job. And now I want to add just a little bit of glitter. So I'm going to use the color glaze from this palette. And I'm just going to put some on my finger. And then I'm just going to pat it on my eyelid. Because I feel like when you use your finger, it um, applies a lot better. So let me go ahead and do that. Ooh, that is going to be really pretty. So I'm just going to tap it on there. I already love this already. And I'll just kind of go three quarters of the way of my eyelid and put a little bit of that shimmer on there. Just gonna add a little bit more. That is so pretty. And a little bit goes a long way. I barely have tapped it. Well, I think that actually turned out pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and add just a little bit of another glitter called Poppin', and I just wanna see how that layers on top of the colors I already have. So I'm just gonna put a little bit on my finger and just pat it on. A little bit on this side. It's got a little bit of a blue tint to it, but it's still really pretty. Nope, I think that looks really, really good. So the plush I'm using is from Merit, and this color is called Raspberry Beret. And if you like this color, I'll leave a link down below so you can go check out their website. But I've used this almost a year now, and I really love this color so much. Kind of wish that this collection came with the blush, but it didn't. So I will use this one. 
All right, now that I have my blush on, I'm gonna go ahead and use the highlighter that came in this collection. And I'm gonna use the one that's called Starstruck, and that is so pretty. And I always like to put the highlighter right where the light hits. So it hits me on my nose. Put a little bit here. And then I kind of bring that up right here. That is really pretty. It's got a lot of purple in it. I think I'm going to use the one that has more green in it. Yeah, I like that better. Ooh, this is very pigmented. That is so pretty. These are very, very pigmented. A little bit goes a long way. As you can see, that is exactly what it says. It's like super starstruck. That is just amazing. I think I might even add a little bit of that highlighter. Just dab it right there on my eyelid. Just for fun. Now I want to blend this out a little bit. This is, I didn't realize how pigmented it was. Let's see. Let me find a brush that will help spread it out a little bit. That is beautiful. All right. I really like everything looks so far and the last thing I need to do is do my lips and I'm going to use the lip pencil, the lipstick and the lip gloss that came with the kit. So I'm going to go ahead and line my lips. Now I'm going to use a lipstick. That's pretty. All right, I'm going to use a lip gloss from the other lip kit because there's actually two. And this one has a little bit more green in it. Oh, look at that. That is beautiful. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and fix my hair and do some final touches on my makeup. And I'll be right back with some final thoughts. Well, this is my final look. I think it turned out absolutely amazing and I just love that highlighter. That's probably my favorite thing from this collection because it is just so beautiful. And if you're interested in learning more about them or you want to check out their products, I'll leave a link to their website and you can check them out. And thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video. I really appreciate it. And please remember to love yourself, love others, know that you're loved, and that we're all beautiful. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.